The Y chromosome has long been a symbol of biological maleness, passed down from father to son and playing a crucial role in determining male characteristics. Despite its significance in shaping human traits, the Y chromosome has often been viewed as weaker than the X chromosome, fueling scientific curiosity and debate. In this video, we'll explore two key aspects of the Y chromosome, the origin of its name, and why some believe it is weaker than the X chromosome, followed by an examination of the facts behind this assumption. The names of the X and Y chromosomes can be misleading because many people assume that the names reflect their shapes with the X chromosome resembling an X and the Y chromosome resembling a Y. However, the origin of these names is not so straightforward. The X chromosome was named first back in the late 19th century by German scientists who labeled it X because it was an unknown entity of at the time. The X in this context did not refer to its shape but rather its enigmatic nature much like how X is used in algebra to represent an unknown variable. The Y chromosome received its name later not because of its shape but because it was the next letter in the alphabet. The name Y was chosen to complement the X chromosome and maintain consistency in the naming convention, while the Y chromosome does something appear Y-shaped under certain conditions, this is more of a coincidence than a deliberate naming choice. The idea that the Y chromosome is weaker than the X chromosome has gained traction for a few reasons. First, the Y chromosome is significantly smaller than the X chromosome. While the X chromosome contains around 1100 to 1500 genes, the Y chromosome has only about 50 to 200 functional genes. This stark difference in gene content has led many to perceive the Y chromosome as genetically impoverished compared to the X chromosome. Additionally, while the X chromosome carries genes important for a wide range of bodily functions including vision, brain development, and immune responses, the Y chromosome is largely specialized for male traits such as the development of testes and sperm production. Because of its narrow functional focus, the Y chromosome is often seen as less versatile than the X chromosome. Another contributing factor to this perception is the fact that the Y chromosome does not participate in recombination with the X chromosome except in a small region. Recombination is the process by which chromosomes exchange genetic material during reproduction creating variation. Since the Y chromosome is passed down from father to son with a little change. It is seen by some as being in a state of evolutionary decay, unable to repair or evolve in the same way other chromosomes do. Studies even suggest that the Y chromosome was once much larger and contained more genes, but over time it has lost much of its genetic material. This process, known as genetic degradation, has further fueled the idea that the Y chromosome is slowly becoming obsolete or weaker. However, while the Y chromosome has fewer genes than the X chromosome and lacks recombination, the idea that it is inherently weaker or on a path to extinction is an oversimplification. In fact, research shows that the Y chromosome has remained remarkably stable for millions of years even though it has lost some genes over time. 
The remaining genes on the Y chromosome are essential for male reproduction and are conserved across many species. This stability suggests that the Y chromosome is not in immediate danger of disappearing as some earlier theories suggested. The Y chromosome also plays an irreplaceable role in determining male sex and reproductive function. The sex-determining region Y gene located on the Y chromosome is responsible for triggering the development of male characteristics. Without the Y chromosome, male reproduction would not be possible, which highlights its importance. Its narrow focus on reproduction does not make it weak, rather it demonstrates is specialization in a crucial function. Additionally, while the Y chromosome doesn't undergo typical recombination, it has developed a mechanism called gene conversion, which helps repair mutations and maintain the functionality of its essential genes, particularly those involved in male fertility. The simplicity of Y chromosome may even offer evolutionary advantages by focusing on a small set of essential genes related to male development. The Y chromosome avoids the risk associated with complex genetic changes. This makes it highly efficient at doing what it's meant to do, ensuring male fertility and passing on genetic information from generation to generation. So, the Y chromosome's name was more of a product of alphabetical convenience than a reflection of its shape or function. As for the belief that it is weaker than the X chromosome, the reality is more complex. Although smaller and less versatile than the X chromosome, the Y chromosome is highly specialized, stable, and essential for male reproduction. Rather than viewing it as weak, it should be seen as an efficient and resilient piece of the genetic puzzle that has evolved to serve a specific and crucial role in human biology. The Y chromosome may not be as genetically rich as the X, but it remains indispensable in ensuring the continuation of male characteristics and human species. Thanks for watching.